With me now in the studio is the director of the Psychological Trauma Unit for the Israeli Health Ministry, Bella Ben Gershon. Bella, thank you so much for being with me. What is it about MDMA in general? What is it about this drug that can help men and women who are suffering from PTSD? Well, as you said, um, Israel took part in the research, and now we are going to the last phase of this. Uh, it's uh, uh, so we know now that we have a therapeutic effect on the patients, like all the defenses are going down, and the people can feel compassion. And we use this with two therapists. We have a, a therapy assisted MDMA. It's not just MDMA that you take a pill and that's it. You right. need a therapy. So 15 sessions, three of them are under the influence of DMA. But what, so with the therapy, if you're under MDMA, a regulated dose, mm -hmm. is it helping you feel sympathy? Is it helping you calm down? Like, what is it that this drug does that's effective compared yes. to other drugs? Yes. When we are talking about PTSD, people yeah. usually are going through a very difficult uh, um, experience, and usually it's capsulated. You can't really um, walk through the experience, you know. So when you take MDMA, it's much, much easier. You feel compassion not just to other people, you feel compassion to yourself. Defenses are down, so you can really walk through your uh, experiences and feel really better about it. Is it safe to give to people who have a mental condition like PTSD, mm -hmm. they're struggling with this illness, is it a safe thing to do? It's completely safe. We don't have side effects. Sometimes it doesn't work, but we have like 68% of success with people that treatment resistance. About one month ago, I was sent to uh, States and not just to tr uh, for training, but also to have this experiment with MDMA. So I took you it myself. It yes, it was an experiment with okay. psychotherapists, you know. And I can tell you that it's really, it's not easy. It's not party. It's not fun. But you work with all all the um, experiences, difficult experiences you have, uh, inner conflicts, and you get better, really. Were you surprised I was, how you felt when you took it? You know, it? I'm a very square person, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I was really surprised. You seem like I was, a perfect, yeah. cool, cool lady. Well, well, it's after MDMA, uh, you know. Well, okay. So how so, did you feel? Uh, it feels like it's difficult through the... Um, uh, at that time, it was very, very difficult, you know, because you really, like, have to confront all your inner conflicts. And it's showing promise, then, for, for in Israel, yeah. a lot of soldiers, exactly. people who experience terror attacks or victims, but this not, can help them. Yeah, not just um, victims of terrorists, but also um, uh, sexual abuse, all kind of trauma. And also we believe that if we have a good results after uh, this pilot for 50 veterans that yeah. we are going to... Um, uh, treat and we uh, finish our uh, research. I think it's a future for uh, treatment off label, like for couples uh, in distress mm. or autism or other disorders. So, we're really optimistic about that. All right, Bella Ben Gershon with the Israeli Health Ministry. Again, as you mentioned, about 50 veterans are going to take part. Five zero. Five zero, yes. yes. Fifty veterans will be taking part in the trial, and it begins very soon, in the next few weeks. Not few weeks, but we think that in few months few we months. started.